than automatically quantizing your audio, you can move them by hand individually. So let's take a closer look at that. So we've looked at quantizing MIDI, which is really simple and easy because it just snaps to the grid. Um, you can actually do that with audio regions. Yes, that is actually possible. You can actually take your actual audio waves and conform them to the grid within GarageBand. So first, <clears throat> I'm going to record a guitar track to this um, to this drum loop that I already have mapped out. And after I record it, we're going to take my recording, which obviously is not perfect to, to every single beat, um, and we're going to fix up the quantize by using auto, auto quantize. All right, let's go ahead and record. I'm going to let about the first uh, cycle go through, and then I'll start tracking my guitar. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewind that and let's just take a listen at what we have so far while we watch uh, what we've re recorded in the track editor down here below, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and rewind that, or let's just take a look at this beginning and focus on this first cycle right here, because these are mainly the single notes which I was picking, and since those are a little bit more obvious to see and visualize, um, that way I can show you the example of auto-quantizing. Okay, so the way we want auto-quantize is down here, it says uh, quantized note timing. Um, as another quick note, you just want to make sure that you have clicked on the auto region that you're trying to quantize. Um, because if you don't have it highlighted, let's say I click off, it's going to be ungrade and you won't be able to affect it. So, just as a quick tip, make sure that you have clicked the auto region and it's highlighted. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this down arrow right here underneath quantize note timing. <clears throat> And before I select a note, we're going to select the 16th note because there are about 16 notes that I was playing. Um, pay attention to where they are. Mainly the, uh, these down strokes or these bigger audio parts of the wave uh, because those are the actual notes that I'm hitting right when I'm hitting them are the bigger ones. What GarageBand is going to do is going to analyze the the audio waves, <clears throat> and then from there it's going to slide those big these big guys over, so it snaps to the time grid. That way, my guitar playing is perfectly in time with the drum loop. Okay, so pay attention to like this one. This one should slide a little bit. I mean, I wasn't weight off, so I mean these are going to slide just a little bit. But make sure you focus in. All right, so let's go ahead and select 16th note. And it's going to analyze the waveforms and now it's see now it kind of slid it over so not only does it slide it over it will stretch it out if need be but anyway let's go ahead and take a listen to our track now Okay, since we're just focusing on mainly this first part with the single notes or the guitar picking, uh, let's go ahead and take an, another listen to that. <clears throat> okay, so it does fix it up uh, any timing issues that you do have and just snaps it to the grid. It's super simple. I mean, this concept of uh, doing it in almost any other 
digital audio workstation is more a little bit more intense but guitar garage band makes it really really simple for you